morning, breaking news from overnight. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick is getting out of prison early. President Donald Trump has commuted Kilpatrick's sentence as one of his final acts in office. Fox 2's Robin Murdoch is live this morning with the details. Robin, good morning to you. Good morning, Josh and Amy. Now, this is something that we talked about a couple of different times over the past several months on this morning shift. But now it does appear that former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick will be released from prison for sure. He will be released from prison after serving seven years of his 28 year sentence. Now, Kilpatrick was one of about 70 people who had their sentence reduced and more than 70 others were granted pardons as one of President Donald Trump's last acts in office. Now, Kilpatrick has been serving time on racketeering and corruption charges stemming from the crimes he committed while mayor of Detroit from 2002 to 2008. In a statement, the White House says the commutation is strongly supported by prominent members of the Detroit community, including Peter Carmanis, Representative Sherry Gay Danyogo, Representative Karen Whitsett, and more than 30 other faith leaders. Mr. Kilpatrick has served approximately seven years in prison for his role in racketeering and bribery scheme while he held while in public office. During his incarceration, Mr. Kilpatrick taught public speaking classes and has led Bible study groups with his fellow inmates, end quote. Of course, a lot of people will likely be reacting to the news of former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick being released from prison early. Of course, stay with us right here at Fox 2 News. What's going on, everybody? This is going to be a short one, but I just got the word that Kwame Kilpatrick, Detroit ex-mayor, would be um, released under President Trump pardon sentence. Today is Trump last day. We will have a new president that will be in George. I mean, um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. But President Trump pardoned Little Wayne. Kodai Black, and he pardoned Kwame Kilpatrick. So, I guess it is all good. I will see you a little bit later, but I had this report. Kwame Kilpatrick, a free man. Lil Wayne, a free man. Kodak Black is a free man under Donald Trump last day of office. Waji loves. After serving roughly a quarter of his 28-year prison sentence for corruption, former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick will soon be a free man. The 50-year-old Kilpatrick served as the city's leader from 2002 to 2008 when he resigned after being convicted of perjury and obstruction of justice in connection with the infamous text message scandal. In 2013, he was then convicted on 24 federal counts for his role in a massive bribery scheme during his time in office. In a statement last night, President Donald Trump cited continued support for Kit Patrick among many members of the Detroit community, several state representatives, and dozens of spiritual leaders in the area. It's important to mention a commutation is not a pardon. While the mayor, former mayor, will be getting out of prison soon, the conviction will remain on his record. And Kilpatrick was not alone. In all, the president granted clemency to 143 people last night. That includes a pardon for his former lead advisor, Steve Bannon, who was charged with fraud in connection with a fundraiser for a southern border wall. Rapper Lil Wayne was given a pardon for a firearms charge. And fellow hip-hop star Kodak Black, who was convicted on a weapons charge, saw his four-year sentence commuted. Of note, the president did not issue a pardon for himself or any of his members of family. He also rejected the request of dozens of people currently facing charges in connection with the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. I'll have much more on this story throughout the morning, but for right now, I'll send it back over.